really curious about how perpetual calendars work. Yeah. Okay. And this is this this mechanism looks too simple. Like it, it, there must be other aspects to it. But well, I'll let you tell me. That's the complicated part to make it simple. Exactly. Yeah. And um, this is in essence if we take away this golden wheel and this uh, Malteser uh, Kreuz, uh, it would basically be just a normal perpetual calendar. Underneath here you have a disc with steps, a cam disc, which has 48 steps, works in the same way as January, February, March, April and, and so on. Which then 48 because it's four years. 48 because it has to account for leap years. Four times mm -hmm. 12 yeah. months, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, how this thing works, if we go to a normal February, this would be the date wheel. On top of here comes the indicator for the date. Mm -hmm. You see here you have a shifting lever with two fingers that interacts with mm -hmm. the date wheel. Now we can cheat a little bit to make it simpler. So we are at 21st, 22nd, 24th, 5th, 25th, 6th, 7th. And you see that it's this finger mm -hmm. interacting with the wheel, mm -hmm. shifting only one day at a time. Mm -hmm. Once we come to the 28th, mm -hmm. which we are at now, mm -hmm. you will see that this finger falls takes down over. behind the snail. Yeah. yeah. And then it takes into account what month you're in. So, next time I'll shift now, mm -hmm. pay attention to what happens. The first. Mm -hmm. If we then do the same in say August, just 31 days, mm -hmm. you can see that this can shift 29, mm -hmm. 30, 31. Mm -hmm. And then it keeps going. Yeah. So, the cam underneath here and how deep this finger can penetrate into the cam, mm -hmm. of course, changes the geometry mm -hmm. of the shifting lever, mm -hmm. which in turn decides at what point this finger falls down behind mm -hmm. the snail. Mm -hmm. So, by regulating the geometry of the lever, mm -hmm. that's cool. I, 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 I kind of get it. I want to. I want to look inside that more, but yeah. I'll do that another time. So, and since the Gregorian calendar does not have a leap year in the year of 2100, 200, and 300, we needed a way to turn the leap year cam a little bit deeper so that this finger will fall down behind the snail and shift from 28 until the first mechanically. That we solved by making a Malteser Kreuz here that makes one revolution every 20 years, which in turn drives this wheel one rotation every 400 years. Okay, well. <laughs> and you can see here we have three deeper stages yeah. Sorry? In this 400 year wheel. Yeah. And this would then, in 2100, we, we synchronize it so that this will line up with February in 2100, 200, and 300 mm -hmm. to allow this finger to penetrate slightly deeper into the cam. So this one falls down mm -hmm. on the 28th instead of the 29th. That's crazy. And that is how the eternal calendar works. That's cool.